Hello, you're watching Complete Guide to Sorbstat, a series of videos where I show you everything there is to know about Sorbstat. In the previous videos, I've shown you how to work with website analysis, keyword research, backlinks analysis, rank tracking, and site audit. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with tools, and for most part, how to work with keyword clustering. And but let's first start with creating a project. Projects in keyword grouping are separate from the ones you have on your dashboard or your list of projects. You can create a keyword clustering project anytime. You don't have to tie it to any website. So let me show you how it works. You have to choose the project name. Let's name this WP Beginner. I've been using this website as my test subject for a while in this series of videos. Also, you can enter the domain you're targeting here. So I'm going to enter the wpbeginner.com. Uh, this is not a requirement. You can create a clustering project without tying it to any domains. As you move on, I will show you what changes when you add a domain when creating a project. Then you have to upload a list of keywords you want to group. Keyword grouping or keyword clustering serves a pretty simple purpose. It takes a list of keywords you have, it analyzes the SERPs for those keywords, and creates keyword groups based on what pages rank for those keywords. We analyze top 30 results for every keyword, and if you see that there is enough number of pages, that rank for all of these keywords, the same pages, we create the keyword groups for them, based on the data from the SERPs. I'm going to add some of the keywords for which WP Beginner ranks. You can just copy and paste the list of keywords or import them from CSV or TXT file. If you don't know where to get the keywords, go and watch one of the previous lessons where I explain everything about keyword research in SERPstat. I'm going to use just 150 keywords. This will be enough to show you how to create a project. And to show you the results, I'm going to use one of these projects where I have a lot more keywords to work with. On the next step, you have to choose the search engine and region. This works the same as search engine and region settings in rank tracking projects. So you choose what search engine you want to track, you choose the country, you choose the region and the city. So you can get recommendations based on your local results, regional results or countrywide results. I'm going to check results in New York. And the last step is the most important one, these settings for the cluster in itself. We have two parameters here, linkage strength and type of grouping. Linkage strength defines the minimum number of connections necessary for keywords to be added to a group. So weak means there will be less connections necessary and the strong means that keywords have to have more connections to create a group. Soft means that keywords don't have to be connected to every single keyword in the cluster that is created. And the hard means that all of the keywords must have a number of connections between them defined by linkage strength settings. On our blog you can find a detailed guide on how to work with clustering and also have a visual representation of how it looks like. So let me show you. This is the soft clustering. As you can see, this keyword is added to the cluster but it doesn't have connections to this keyword and this keyword. And in the hard clustering all of the keywords must have a certain number of connections. So this keyword will not be allowed in this cluster. We also have a few videos on clustering and text analytics on our channel and some more materials on the blog. So if you want to research that, go ahead and read our blog and check out our YouTube channel. So what settings to choose? My personal recommendation is if you have a list of keywords that is large and the keywords that are from different groups, you have to create initial clusters. So you have to use either weak linkage strength or soft type of grouping. And if you have keyword lists where all of the keywords are related to one certain subject and you want to create closer groups like harder clusters, you have to go with hard clustering and strong linkage strength. For this project, I'm going to use a weak linkage strength and hard type of clustering. That is all you have to do to set up the keyword clustering project. If you're not satisfied with the results you get from the first try, go and try different settings. Maybe they will work better for you. Once you click finish, Sharpset will start analyzing the keywords you've created. You will see that project on your list and you will see it marked as in progress. Once it's done, you'll be able to access the project itself and see what results you get there. So let me use this one I've created before and show you how to work with keyword clustering and text analytics. In this project, I have keywords similar to the ones I've used when I've shown you how to create a project. And I've also used WP Beginner as the website when creating this project. On the left here, you can see the super clusters. Then when you click on the plus sign, you will get a list of clusters. And on the right, you can see how the clusters look like and what keywords are included in these clusters. So let's take a closer look at one of the clusters here and I'll explain to you what you see here. First thing is the name of the cluster. Name of the cluster is just the shortest keyword in this cluster. All of the keywords in this cluster are related to one subject, so any keyword can define it. And we just decided to go with the shortest keyword as the name for a cluster. Next, you have the homogeneity number. Homogeneity shows you how all of the keywords in this cluster are related to each other and how uniform the cluster is. This number is defined by the connection strength of the keywords. The connection strength you can see here in percent. To improve the homogeneity of a cluster, you can remove the keywords with lower strength. But in this case, 83, 84, and 86, the lowest numbers in the cluster, are actually quite high and I don't feel like removing them and how much anti of uh, 0 0.8 is quite good as well. So this cluster is pretty much uniform. Remember when we were creating a project, I've added a domain to the project. 
If Sharpstat sees that that domain ranks for enough keywords from a cluster, it will assign a page that ranks for those keywords to this cluster and you can analyze the page and run text analytics for it. As you can see on the right here, we identified that this page of WP Beginner ranks for a lot of these keywords. Now guys, thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel, hit likes and have a great day, bye.